Hi, I'm James McGuire, and today we're talking about data management, specifically how to make data management more secure, which of course leads us to one of today's biggest cybersecurity challenges, ransomware. How do we guard against ransomware? Really a, a vexing problem. To discuss that, I'm joined by Moet Aaron, Chief Executive Officer and Founder at Cohesity. Uh, Moet, thank you very much for joining us today. James, uh, thank you so much for having me here. It's a pleasure. Great. So, I mean, let's talk about ransomware. I'm, I'm amazed at uh, you know all the headlines. It seems like every single week there's yet another headline about ransomware. A group of bad actors has you know kidnapped a company's data, so to speak, and you know they're not going to give it back, or they're not going to release it until they get you know many many dollars worth of, of Bitcoin. You know, wh what do you see in terms of what the, the current state of ransomware? Where are we these days? James, uh, ransomware has bubbled up to become almost like a number one concern of our customers. Right, right. Um, you know, they say there's like a ransomware attack uh, once every 11 seconds or so. Wow. Uh, and it's not going away. You know, we can expect, um, you know, more large scale uh, attacks this year. Uh, you know, many of the Fortune 500 companies uh, are getting attacked and will get attacked. Mm -hmm. uh, it's become, you know, with ransomware, data management has moved from uh, an IT conversation to a boardroom priority. Literally, that's what's happened. Right. You know, I guess the, the, the big question, the, the $64 million question is, how can organizations prepare for ransomware in such a way that they can avoid paying the, 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 the ransomware? And I, I, I think it's the, the, the ransom, I think it's, I'm not sure there's a clear answer to that question, but I'd love to get your, your answer for whatever answer you'd have to that. Yeah, um, you know, the, 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 short, the short answer, I guess, is embrace uh, the next gen technology. Uh, you uh -huh. know, for instance, Forrester uh, coined the phrase zero trust uh, long ago. Right. And, and cohesity uh, goes well above and beyond that uh, zero trust framework, uh, you know, with our threat defense uh, framework. So what we do is we have like a three pronged approach to guarding our customers against ransomware. Uh, you know, right. the three axes, if you may, are uh, protect, detect and recover. So protect, okay. protect is all about the guardrails, right? Uh, we offer, for instance, an immutable file system we offer, uh, you know, multi-factor authentication, role-based access control, data address encryption, so mm -hmm. basic stuff, uh, you know, and and always authentic, authenticate, uh, you know, always verify, so zero trust principles. Right. Um, so this is just basic uh, protection. But then the second axis is to also detect. So uh, you know, Cohesity, as part of our data management offering or next-gen data management offering, we. Uh, start with backups. So uh, maybe the older backups are are safe, were not impacted, but some of the newer ones are infected. Uh, mm -hmm. And we can run machine learning al algorithms in the background to detect that these are infected. And we'll inform our customers that that has happened. Mm -hmm. And and then um, the customers can trigger a recovery and, and we support um, a feature called instant recovery where uh -huh. uh, we can recover, um, you know, thousands of, uh, you know, let's say VMs with the push of a button and all that stuff will go instantly running up and running on their production systems. Uh -huh. So we really have this three pronged approach, uh, but it, it's all part of uh, our, our threat defense framework. So um, I think i will say the impact of uh, ransomware attacks is, is real and immediate, uh, but there are ways to outsmart smart the attackers and it's all about embracing uh, next gen uh, data management. Yeah, I mean, I've often heard it said that there are, you know, solutions along those lines you can really guard against it. And I've had other people say that, well, as long as something is actually connected to the internet in some way whatsoever, it will always be somewhat vulnerable. I mean, do, do, will we get to a point with next gen or whatever solutions that uh, we actually will say, well, remember ransomware? That just, just doesn't happen anymore. I mean, will, will that day come? Um you know, James, very honestly, it's, it's, it is a cat and mouse game. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the attackers get smarter and, and, and you get smarter still. And of course, right. um, there are parts of the next gen technology. So, um, you know, for instance, there's air gapping that Cohesity can do. So even if uh, the ransom, uh, the attackers are so smart that they can attack, um, you know, your systems, but then the air gapping protects you. In fact, there is a customer right now 
that is getting saved because of exactly that. Uh, now, now, what is what is air gapping? For those who don't know, please explain that. Yeah, air gapping means that uh, you you keep a copy of the data where uh, the attackers can get to it. Um, so you can keep it, for instance, in tapes, uh, and they're shipped offsite, or you put it in the cloud, and, and there is no way to delete it. The policies are such that even the attackers, even if they get access, can can delete it. So that's mm. sort of like you air gap the data. Um, mm. And so there's a pristine copy sitting there. If like everything is compromised, your all your uh, your lines of defenses are, are are going down. That's the last line of defense. So mm. um, so techniques like this are there in next gen data management that. Uh, can prevent uh, eventually the attackers from going too far in. Uh, but it is a cat and mouse game. Uh, and so they can go further and further inside, um, but hopefully we can stop them before they get to the last line of defense. And, and that's what uh, the, the next gen data management is all about. Well, you know, the, the, the idea that the air gap technology seems like one of the challenges with that is that companies need to keep all their data online, or at least the current data online. So if it's air gapped, it's going to be a little bit slower to um, get a hold of, correct? So there might be some really current data that, that can't be air gapped. Am I correct in thinking that? Um, so again, uh, as the attackers get, uh, they, they bring down your lines of defenses, as they go in, now the last line of defense, it's more important to get the data as mm -hmm. opposed to how fast you can get the data. But right. that said, um, you know, so the number one priority is to even be able to get the data and not pay ransom. But, mm -hmm. uh, but even there, the next gen uh, technologies are all about also being able to recover that, that fast. So for instance, when we air gap it to the cloud and when we recover from that, now we can have uh, multiple networking streams recovering from that. So we can actually recover that relatively fast. Of course, uh, mm -hmm. if it's actually on, uh, and let's say it's a, uh, your data center is compromised, but you're using Cohesity and there's a Cohesity cluster sitting on, on premises. Um, it's going to be way faster to recover from that. It's right there uh, mm -hmm. than from the cloud, but it's still not recovering from the cloud is still not as slow uh, as if you were recovering from tape. So, but right. at that point, when the, when the hackers have gotten so far in, the priority becomes, hey, I need to have the data safe, safe somewhere because it's not just about recovering the data. It's also about, okay, how did they get in? How do you patch whatever the, uh, and so there's delays associated with all that too. So right. you'd actually, customers don't mind at that point, you know, getting the data uh, from wherever air gap uh, stuff it's sitting in. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what do you say to companies that are operating sort of, you know, the, the, the data as usual pr procedures? I and mean, if you're going to, give a company a couple of pieces of advice in terms of data management, how can we make our data management better? Uh, what advice would you give? Yeah, I'll give a couple of advices. I'd say, first of all, look at your infrastructure, uh, mm. you know, audit it. And you're probably, you, you know, bound by the weakest link. Your attackers will probably find the weakest link in your infrastructure and attack that. Right. And then I would say, uh, assume, uh, you know, of course, zero trust. Don't trust anything. Right. Assume anything sure. can be attacked. And, and make sure you have a, a great enterprise backup system and something that can replicate uh, remotely, something that can uh, air gap some of your stuff. Uh, so you have all these lines of defenses, right? Uh, when you get attacked, uh, it's not just the front lines that save you, but it's also the other lines of defenses that you've built. Uh, so, so audit all of that. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's one. The second uh, piece of advice I'll, I'll give is that don't be in a hurry to just give up uh -huh. because now you... Now you're just encouraging the attackers to attack you more and more. And if, even if you pay the ransom to one set of attackers, now another set of attackers might like, okay, these guys pay ransom, so let's attack them, right? Right. So, so, uh, so you might as well upgrade your infrastructure, upgrade yourself to uh, a next-gen data management uh, product like Cohesity and, and just thwart those attackers. So they'll look elsewhere. Uh, mm -hmm. They won't come and attack you. So those are some of the advices I'll give. And I'm, I'll, I want to give an example. I think one of our um, publicly referenceable customers Sky Lakes, it's a medical facility here in the US and uh -huh. Oregon. Okay. Uh, last year, they got attacked. Some 600 plus servers were attacked and uh, more than 150 uh, applications were kind of down and they were mm. able to uh, get back on their feet using, using Cohesity. And, mm. and they were also using a, a legacy product for their backups and whatnot. And the hackers these days are smart. They actually encrypted all that stuff. Uh, ah. and so if they were only relying on the legacy technology, they would, um, literally have lost the data or they have to pay ransom. I mean, these guys, our customers actually came 
and they were so thankful. They're like, we exist because of cohesity. Mm. And they also told us it was very flattering. They said, you guys saved patient lives. Uh -huh. Imagine if the hackers compromise the data, uh, someone who uh, has very important patient data sitting on these systems. Now the doctors can't look at the data. Now you're putting lives at rest, right? Mm -hmm. so, so this is the kind of difference, um, you know, next gen data management from products like Cohesity can, uh, can bring, uh, make, make to the world. Well, let's look, let's look to the future of, of data management. I mean, obviously there's going to be challenges that will remain. There's going to be artificial intelligence, a lot of automation involved, but, but if you look out, you know, say two to four years is pretty far in the world of technology. But if, if you look into your, your crystal ball, what, what do you see for the so future milestones for, for, for uh, data management? Yeah. Yeah. First of all, uh, legacy technology is no longer part of the solution. It's actually part of the problem. Right? Uh -huh, right. So, so people need to go to the, the, the new world. Um, First, so the, the, the problem that people would say about the legacy technology is, well, we've already bought it and we're operating it. We, you know, we, it's put together with tape. We agree. I mean, it's held together by tape and glue, but gosh, it's, 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 it's inexpensive for us. Yeah, but it gets way more expensive real fast once you get attacked. Right. At that point, it's going to be way more expensive, you know, paying the ransom and uh, fixing what you have and then potentially opening up for another ransomware attack is going to be way more expensive. Uh, and mm -hmm. by the way, some of the next gen technology, it's not all about expensive. It's actually, you can be, you'll be surprised. We've actually saved money uh, hmm. because the legacy is so siloed, so broken. By the time you put it together, you actually spend more money than uh -huh. buying a next gen technology. Right. Uh, so, um, you know, the, frankly, the winners of, and losers of tomorrow will be decided uh, by those that can gain better insights from data, protect against ransomware, and make data governance a priority, right? That's, uh, you know, uh, that's going to determine the competitive edge that companies would have. So a strong, mm -hmm. um, you, know, you know, recommendation that they should um, upgrade. Um, you know, customers want a range of services uh, on one platform, right? Also, the next gen data management, what, what it does is it's not all about just a one trick pony. Uh, mm. The same platform can do multiple things. It can do enterprise backups for you. It can do disaster recovery. It can do air gapping. It can do security and compliance. It can do analytics and, and so on. So mm. it gives you a way to manage data your, your own way. Uh, you know, uh, wherever your data is, whether it's, it's on premises in a data center or in an edge infrastructure or in the cloud, uh, and you can consume it the way you like. You know, for, for instance, in the cloud, you can consume Cohesity using our SaaS service on premises, you can manage it yourself. There's so much more flexibility uh, uh -huh. that you can get. And sometimes I like to draw an analogy to you know a smartphone. A smartphone starts off by being a great phone, but uh, but really it's a platform that can right. do more than just being a phone, right? It can um, you know act uh, as a music player and a camera and, and so on and so forth. So a next gen sure. data management platform uh, from Cohesity is somewhat like that. Uh, you know we we say that we have four pillars in that. Uh, next gen data management. Number one, simplicity at scale. Mm -hmm. So this is a platform that will uh, scale, uh, you know, beyond your on-premises infrastructure to your clouds, uh, and sim it's simple to manage. It's one UI that can manage it all. So it's a mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, hyperscaler like scalability and kind of Apple like manageability. So simplicity at scale is one of the pillars. Okay. The, the second uh, pillar is. Um, is zero trust security. So security needs to be built in and it needs to be zero trust, right? Uh, mm -hmm. I spoke at length about our threat defense architecture, our ability to prevent ransomware attacks, security and governance, all that needs to come embedded in. Uh, the third pillar is uh, powered by AI. So it's making mm -hmm. smart decisions. It's telling mm -hmm. you even before maybe the customer can realize that they got hit by a ransomware attack through machine learning algorithms, it can learn and tell the customer that you have a ransomware attack happening right now. Right. Uh, it can automate so many things. It can auto heal itself. Uh, it can automatically move data. Uh, so, so smartness and AI are kind of built in. And the last one is uh, the last pillar is extensibility. So third party mm. extensibility. You don't want to buy uh, something that only does uh, that thing. And then if you want to do something more, maybe extract value from your data, then you build one more silo and then one more silo, right? The same thing should be able to be extended. Uh, you know, again, the smartphone analogy is apt. You can, you should be able to download those apps from your marketplace and extend the power of that platform, right? So similarly, uh, a next gen data management platform should be able to do the same. Uh, mm -hmm. You should be able to extend the power. Hey, maybe uh, uh, download some more security apps from third party vendors, right? Maybe they can run some virus scans and give some ma malware protection. Why only depend on the on, on, on the vendor who sold you that platform, right? Right. So that's what right. uh, Cohesity also offers. That's what we call next-gen data management. Great. 
Moet, I, I think you have said it. I, I greatly appreciate you sharing your expertise today. Um, thank you very much. Yeah, and I'll just add that we are doing great in the marketplace. I mean, we have nearly 25% of the Fortune 500 using us. We have four of the top uh, 10 Fortune 500 uh, are actually, uh, you know, four, four of the uh, top 10 uh, US banks are actually relying on us. Uh, mm -hmm. We have uh, three of the biggest five uh, pharmaceuticals in the world relying on us, and they're all, you know, taking advantage of next gen data management. So uh, we'd encourage uh, customers out there, pr prospective customers out there to upgrade their infrastructure, be mm -hmm. ready for these ransomware attacks, but also get the other benefits of next gen data management. Um, and we uh, hopefully look forward to talking to some of these uh, prospective customers in the future. Great. Well, good luck with the company. Absolutely. Thank you, James. Thank you.